California Governor Gavin Newsom has signed into law a bill that allows children to be removed from their homes without evidence of abuse. Children over the age of 12 can be placed into residential shelters and undergo mental health treatment if they leave home, whether or not their parents or guardians have been consulted without any evidence of abuse. Joining us live now to share more, Vice President and Legal Counsel with Advocates for Faith and Freedom, Mariah Gandero. Mariah, welcome. Thank you for having me. So this is just flat out disgusting and wrong. Share your perspective about what is going on in the state of California. Oh, boy. Well, the state of California is a mess. I think everyone outside of California can see that. And it's astonishing to see all these bills coming out of the legislature. This is just a, a new slate of bill bills that have been passed directly usurping the rights of parents. This is a blatant violation of parental rights. California essentially wants to raise children on their own and indoctrinate them. Um, it's clear on its face, in my opinion, that this bill is a violation of the Constitution, because typically under the law, you have to show that a child is in imminent harm or danger to remove a child, so, such as incest or abuse. But here, a child can emancipate from their parents if, for instance, their parents won't allow them to um, transition their gender. Mm. Isn't this another move by the government just to claim the lives of our precious children and to pretend that they're better parents than we are? Absolutely. I think that is a, a common tactic that you see in uh, uh, dictatorships in socialist countries, you know, the, the removal of par parents from their children and the government becoming the parent of the children. And we all know that a government doesn't do a very good job of spending money and they certainly don't do a very good job of raising your children. That's exactly what we see here. And it's really unfortunate because Children at that age are in such an impressionable state. They're very vulnerable. And it's extremely important to have parents involved before they make a life-altering decision. Of course it is. I mean, I homeschooled my son for uh, two years, two different times. And I loved it. I know it's not for everybody. And there are parents that have to work. And they need to have assistance, but man, oh man, if my kid was in public school in the state of California, I would get them out pretty fast. Why, why did this happen? How do you, how did you see this happening? Well, the California is, or legislature is largely ran by Democrats at this point. And unfortunately they, they control the media, they control the narrative. They propagate a lot of false narratives saying that, oh, this doesn't deny the right of parents this is just another far right conspiracy. And so I think people just kind of ignore what is going on and they don't actually really do their own research and read um, the law. And also, I think that when you remove God from society, um, very bad things tend to happen. Yes, that's it. It's like you give them an inch and they take a mile. They take 10 miles. Why do you think that previous legislation was uh, not deemed enough for kids to be in unsafe homes? Why did they have to take that extra mile? Well, I think they're looking at every single angle in which, you know, a, a parent could prevent their child from perhaps affirming you know, or, or transitioning their gender. You know, a few months ago or earlier this year, it was the transgender sanctuary bill where kids could come to California from any other state and receive gender affirming care. But now I think they want to make sure that kids in the state of California are not prevented from you know, receiving mental health treatment or that, you know, encourage it, that may encourage them that, hey, you're you're actually a boy or you're actually a girl. And so I think this is just another step that they're taking to you know, remove parents from the picture. In addition to this, you also see them going after school districts who want to notify parents of their child's gender transition. They think that parents shouldn't even be involved in that. And so it, it is really disgusting and it's almost mind boggling to see all the different ways that they're trying to remove parents. Mm. You know, 
I remember when my son was young and even when I was a kid, I didn't like Brussels sprouts. You know, I, I couldn't make healthy choices for myself. It just boggles my mind that the California public school system and the government, uh, Gavin Newsom would, would challenge parents on their very own rights. I mean, what is the end game? What do you think that they actually want to do? Take all of the kids and put them into their own homes and not ever let them communicate with their parents? Well, I think honestly, this is an example of us fighting, fighting, you know, we're not fighting against flesh and blood, you know, we're, 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 fi- we're fighting against evil principalities. And that's the only way I can explain this because no human in their right mind would ever want to remove children from their parents. And so I think this is just an evil agenda. Um, they're being influenced by evil ideology. That's the only way I can explain it. I, I totally agree with you. Do you ever run into parents who, let's say, were Democrat and they they voted for Gavin Newsom and they voted for Biden and they're seeing all these things coming around now and they're waking up? Do you ever talk to parents like that and wish they hadn't voted for those people? Yes, I absolutely think a lot of people are waking up. I even have Democrat friends who are starting to wake up and be like, "Okay, this is getting way too far. You know, this it started out kind of subtle, but now they're not so subtle about their agenda. And I think that is definitely waking up a lot of people with just basic common sense. So what's the what's the strategy from here for you and for your team Um, Do you think this is you're going to be challenging this and and what are the next steps? Yes, well, the next step is to ultimately hopefully find an organization that we can challenge this bill on behalf of or an individual or a parent. But I know we're working with with different teams, different people to, to figure out how to challenge these bills, to be honest, there was just so many of them and in a short amount of time that I think you know, a, a, it's it's a big battle right now. And we don't have an enormous team. Unfortunately, we're really busy with what we're already focusing on in our current cases. And so I think right now we're trying to just find the bandwidth to be able to take on these new issues. Well, how can people get involved? How can they help you and support you and contribute to your cause and potentially switching this and bringing our kids back home and under the guise of their own parents, the guidance of their own parents and not the state? Well, you can reach us at uh, faith-freedom.com. And then you, you can follow us on social media at Advocates for Faith and Freedom. And we're always looking for supporters. Uh, we need obviously money to survive. We're a nonprofit organization and also prayer because we're going up uh, against a lot of very evil people. Okay. One more question for you before we go. Why did you get involved in this? Why are you so passionate about it? I don't know. I, I, I I just hate um, bullies and I hate people picking on those that are vulnerable. And I think that children are very vulnerable, you know, and it's, people don't realize how impressionable they are and how vulnerable they are and how it doesn't take a lot for a child to become very confused or hurt. And that, that experience could change the trajectory of their entire life. So I think we need to be fighting for our children and protecting them, protecting their minds, their spirit, their soul, so that they can you know, be have an abundant life and not be carrying any baggage or, you know, just confusion. That that's what it's about. I think it's just it's pure evil to do this to children. It is. Mariah, thank you so much for joining me. God bless you. And I hope we keep in touch. Thank you so much for having me. God bless.